Hi, I'm Leo from My Bubba, and I'm here at Dalesford in Notting Hill, where the theme is Eat to Be Healthy, and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be speaking to one of the chefs here about how to eat healthily with the children, and in particular snacks, and what's in season. So I'm in store here at the market with Jolan, who is a wonderful chef here. And the amazing thing about Jolan is he absolutely hated vegetables as a child. So it's pretty apt because now it's his favourite thing, now he's working at Dalesford. And I just wanted to ask you a few questions, really. Sure. How are you? Not bad, thank you. Yourself? Good, really good, thank you. So the thing that I really want to know about, the, the main thing, obviously talking all about these delicious fruits and vegetables, but the main thing that I struggle with is healthy snacks, and in particular using vegetables. So when I pick the children up from school, they're starving, they want something now. Could you give me a few suggestions? What's I the think, season? And well, well, I think at the moment we've got, uh, we've got some lovely squash. There's yeah, a lot of delicious. roots and uh, beetroots and celeriacs available. And I think the easiest thing is just probably some vegetable crisps for me. Just slice them very thinly, put God, them into olive oil and idea. bake them in the oven. So um, what, you don't need to, you just prepping them, you just literally peel yeah, and... Li literally, and with celeriacs, I don't even bother peeling them. As long as you get the beards off, you just slice them very thinly on a mandolin. And does and it have them. to be a mandolin, or I, they terrify me just with fingers? Probably I, better. It's, it's better on a mandolin so purely thin. because uh, it, vegetables tend to have a lot of water, especially things like celeriac and squash. Yeah. So it takes a long time to dry out. So if you're, if you're using a fryer, which I wouldn't recommend is... Uh, it, it should be okay, but in terms of putting it in the oven, I think mandolin is a much probably healthier. your best. Yeah. So you slice them nice and thinly, a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil, a little bit of salt, yeah. uh, leave it for about five minutes, let the, let it, the salt helps draw out all the moisture. Uh, the water, yeah. And then we just pat dry it and then just bake it in an oven. Really. How long? D different vegetables take different time. I think sure. beetroot, I think the lower the temperature, so I would go between 140 and 160 degrees. And cook them for a long time. Yeah, so until the vegetables are crisp. They'll start to curl up and things like that, but that's Fantastic. absolutely fine. I mean, they won't, they won't look like your Pringles, if you like. But, sure. But they'll be you know, delicious and healthy. Delicious, and do them in batches. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I tend to do each vegetable on a different tray. Uh, oh, that's or, a brilliant or idea. The so then you can pull them out, in and out. And then stuff. something to go with that. Can you, again, at, more at vegetables? The, absolutely. At the moment, I think dips for me, aubergines are great. I mean, hummuses and stuff like that are great. And My I, son's I've, obsessed with hummus. I mean, I, I've, I've tried a really new pro a new product, a, a raw hummus with raw chickpeas. Oh, wow. Uh, which was, they're basically dried chickpeas soaked and then yeah. soaked for 48 hours and then made they make hummus with it. Instead of cooking a lot them more put, nutritious. instead of boiling. Uh, I never I even admit, thought I, about that. I must admit, I prefer the old school. Yeah. Uh, there are lots of people that are jumping on the bandwagon yeah. of different hummuses, aren't there? Absolutely. So many different absolutely. ways. Doing it. So but tell me about the aubergine one. I mean, what aubergines, would I... aubergines are so I versatile for me. I, I think they're delicious. It's one of my favourite vegetables. Yeah. Well, favourite vegetable now. I used to absolutely. I couldn't stand the sight of aubergines, but for me, it's just. I used to. Just, I, I, when I when I make aubergine dips, I just prick them with a fork. Yeah. And then put them in a really hot oven till they get all crinkled up for about 45 sure. minutes or whatever. Fantastic. And you take them out and you can do a, hot, a big batch of these and have them ready. And then once they're cold, peel them, and then just chop them up or put it in a blender. Oh, in a blender, a bit of tahini or yogurt. Anything, you, you can add so many different things. You can add sun-dried tomatoes to it. Oh, you can delicious. add cumin to make sort of a baba ganoush. You can Fantastic. add tahini, you can add, there's the, the world possibilities oyster. are endless sort of thing I suppose with there's so much at your fingertips as well. There's so many different I mean, options. I mean, we're very lucky, so. Yeah. We, this is sort of our market store sort of thing, if you like. Uh, Fantastic. But we've got some great fruit and veg here. I, mean, I think the courgettes are another thing that are so versatile that I mean, for healthy snacks, I, I recently made some pizzas using yeah. courgettes as the base. Are you kidding? No, they're, wow. they're quite versatile. So I just peel, peel the courgettes, take the seeds out, yeah. and then dice them up, a bit of salt to draw some of that moisture out, yeah. and then blend it. Uh, with a little bit of either buckwheat flour or you don't Delicious. even need the spelt buckwheat flour or, yeah. or spelt grain or rye grain. In my opinion, you don't actually need it. Yeah. Uh, and then you can add a whole pile of things to it, so a bit of garlic, some fresh herbs. Fantastic. And then if you pat it down and then just put it in the oven, yeah. you end up with a little disc, so like a sort of a cookie, if you like, a courgette cookie. How amazing. And so you make it like into a ball and then flatten it down? or You won't be able to make it into a ball because it'll be a paste. Oh, so, But if you just spoon it onto a tray with some Baking parchment tray. paper and then yeah. just flatten it and put it in the oven, it cooks into like a disc. Fantastic. I mean, I've made wraps with it. 
I mean, wow. tortilla wraps, so if so you just I'm spread them out very thinly and then cook them in the oven in the for oven. 12 minutes. I'm going to practice with that. It, it took me a while to get, to get the wraps, but the pizza base is yeah. very easy. I mean, I've made Wonderful. so many different things with courgettes. You use it as pasta. Uh, yes, lots of people use them with courgettes, the, spiral, the spiralizer, yeah. Aubergines, I've used aubergines as uh, pasta instead of to make lasagna. So oh wow! There's no um, sort of. What a great uh, idea because it's got that sort of meat, sort of thick meaty texture. And when you cook texture. it, so I, I tend to slice it and then grill it, just very gently for yeah. about five minutes. And then Lengthways. Have them, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then just have them, uh, let, let them go cold, and just use it like you would use lasagna sheets. Fantastic! Yeah. Brilliant! I, I do. I love aubergines now. So wonderful! Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. They're wonderful, wonderful ideas. No problem. Going to buy a bit of everything, and then I'll let you know how I get on. Brilliant! But well, please do. I will. Thank, thank you very much.